Hello students, today I am going to show you how you can submit your assignments or how you can check your study material in Microsoft Teams. So as you can see here, I have opened here a student's account of my demo team. So here you can see in the general there are post, files, class notebook, assignments. So in the post, you will be able to view all the messages that is posted by your teacher and in the files you will be able to see the study material if your teacher has uploaded there so as you can see here in my disk in my demo class i have uploaded the study material according to the folder so in the class material there are different folders So I have uploaded the chapter that is mail march and in the mail march I have uploaded some of the images, my PDF file, video file. So your teachers are going to upload your files according to that. Next we will discuss about the class notebook. So once I click in the class notebook you can see here the one welcome page will be here so in class notebook three options are available that is your student notebook you will have your own private notebook here content library and collaboration space so as you can see here in the left hand side open the navigation pen so you'll have to just click in this arrow so you'll be able to view the collaboration space the content library and the name the account mail of the students you will be able to see so if i go and click in the collaboration space you'll have to go and click in the using the collaboration space so if any teacher has uploaded any file you'll be able to view here so as i have uploaded it's all about the artificial intelligence so once you click there you'll be able to view the collaboration space so here you can input any sentence if the question has if the teacher has instructed you to write something so you'll be able to edit this file so you can able to write anything here so next is the content library So in the content library also you will have to go and click in the using the content library. So once you click there you will be able to see the information if the teacher has uploaded there. So here there are three information here that is project on AI, informations about AI and analysis on the topic. So let me see how you will be able just you have to go and click it there. So you can view the file here. So you'll be able to view the file here. In the content library students, you will be only to able to view the file. You will be not able to edit any option here. You can just go through the information. So you can see that if any hyperlink or link is there, if you just click in the link, you'll be able to the video reference whatever the teacher has uploaded for you you can just go and view here okay so next you will see your class notebook so as you can see here you will be able to view your name so you'll have to just go and click in that name you'll be able to see the class notes homework projects handout and quizzes so you can just go through So in class notebook I have clicked and you can see here is untitled page and no information is there. So it means uh, the teacher has not assigned anything there. So if I go and click in the homework, you can see that in my this demo class I have given one homework that is analysis of the topic. So next is the project. So if you go and click in the project, you will be able to see if the teacher 
teacher has assigned any project. So that is project on artificial and analysis on the topic and handout then quizzes are there. So from here also you will be able to view if any project or homework or classwork the teacher has assigned to you. Okay, so next we will go and click in the assignments. So once you click in the assignments, you will be able to view the assignments the teacher has already posted for you. So you'll be able to see the name of the assignment, when is the due date, at what time and if already you have submitted or not so that you can just view the assignments here. For example, like I want to view the project that has been assigned. So you can see here the name of the project, the due date is 16 September and the point value. This assignment it holds 10 points. So next this is the my work. So if I go and click here, you will be able to see the view of the instruction that has been given by the teacher. So next I will go and click in the close. So as you can see here one attached file is that is add work. So once I click here, So you can see here that I have different options from where I can upload my file. Say new file, link from the team and from OneDrive. If you have saved your file there or you can upload from this device. The device that you are working from there also you can upload directly. So once I go and click in the upload file, it will direct me to the storage space that where I have kept my files for example if I want to download anything from the desktop if I have saved there or in C drive E drive you can just go through for example like I want to upload one video file or PDF okay so I have to just click in the PDF then I can click in open it will give you the message upload from this device so once the file is uploaded, the done option will come. So you just have to click in the done option. So in this way, you can upload any video file, any PDF, your PowerPoint presentation. So you just click in the done option. So once I click in the done option, I will able to see the name of the file that I have uploaded in my work. So after that, to send it to the teacher, you will have to just click in the blue color option that is turn in. So once you see this option undo turn in, it means you have sent the, your assignment and your teacher will able to view that. So that's all for today children. Bye bye.